The African People's Socialist Party and Chairman Amalia Chitela, along with the leaders of Venezuela, China, Iran, Cuba, and Nicaragua, have spoken in opposition to the U.S. imperialist-created crisis in Ukraine and in solidarity with the people of Russia and their elected government and leadership. On Thursday, February 24th, the Foreign Ministry of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela issued a statement expressing its worry over the worsening of the crisis in Ukraine and lamenting the mockery and violation of the Minsk Accords of the part of NATO encouraged by the United States of America. This current military situation in Ukraine was fomented by years of NATO encroachments, US CIA coups, color revolutions, slander and US sanctions designed to starve the Russian people since the fall of the USSR, something engineered by the US during the 1980s with the US backed coup in Afghanistan on the Soviet border that overthrew a progressive government and president of Afghanistan that had a relationship with the USSR. The New York Times is reporting that today up to 95% of the people of Afghanistan are starving and babies are rapidly dying following the 20 year occupation of the country by the US colonial military. Since 1991, the US has worked to contain Russia. According to one online source, since the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, the NATO military alliance has extended its borders 800 miles to the east, incorporating Poland, Hungary, Czechia, Bulgaria, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia, Montenegro, and North Macedonia. In 2021, NATO officially recognized Ukraine itself as an aspiring member, and Sweden and Finland are also considering joining the anti-Russia alliance. Both Finland and Estonia are less than 200 kilometers, 125 miles, from St. Petersburg, and Ukraine's eastern border is less than 750 kilometers, 465 miles from Moscow. Putin's demands include a commitment from Ukraine to abstain from joining NATO. NATO was created to contain and attack Russia. The situation in Ukraine today also follows the wave of US-backed color revolutions throughout the territories that have been part of the former Soviet Union, including the Rose Revolution in Georgia in 2003, the Orange Revolution in Ukraine in 2004, the Tulip Revolution in Kyrgyzstan in 2005, or the Arab Spring in Asia and Africa in 2011, among many other counterinsurgencies against anti-colonial movements and struggles for independence around the world and inside the US as part of what Chairman Amalia Chitella has termed the colonial mode of production. The US bourgeois media paints the narrative that Biden, the US and their partners are the champions of democracy while slanderously depicting the Russians as the aggressors. This lie is meant to obscure the fact that it is US imperialism built and sustained by the enslavement and oppression of African people and theft of our resources, which has been responsible for the violence in Ukraine over the past eight years or more. A US-backed coup ousted the democratically elected president in Ukraine in 2014. This, this CIA coup in 2014 paved the way for the ascendancy of the reactionary white nationalist government of Vladimir Zelensky, former professional comedian, Zelensky is tied to the paramilitary anti-Russian pro-US Svoboda party. He has also expressed ambitions for Ukraine to join NATO. US and Europe are denouncing Russian troop movements, meanwhile funneling billions of dollars in arms into Ukraine on top of more than 150 military advisors, including special ops forces. Since the 2014 coup, the US-backed Ukrainian military forces have slaughtered over 14,000 people in the Donbass region of Eastern Ukraine, where the majority of the residents support and identify with Russia. As one online article stated, Ukraine has already been massively weaponized by the United States since the CIA-backed coup, coup d'etat in Kiev in 2014 brought to power a neo-Nazi regime obsessed with antagonizing Russia. The Biden administration has boosted inventories for anti-tank missiles and other lethal weaponry with plans for further increases. Now it emerges that additional supplies are on the way from both the US and Britain. Britain is to send anti-tank weapons to Ukraine along with military advisors. The same US imperialism that was built on slavery, genocide and colonialism is now posturing as the moral and the political authority of the world. The U.S. colonial capitalist state murders African people inside the U.S. every single day, including George Floyd, Amir Locke, Breonna Taylor, and millions of others, 
It is the same state that occupies and wages genocidal mass murder and terror throughout the world, such as in Libya, Iraq, Afghanistan, Palestine, Somalia, Haiti, Congo, and Yemen. Only Chairman Amalia Shatella and the theory of African internationalism can make sense of the situation today and show the way forward under the leadership of the African revolution. It is only the profound analysis of the world and world economy that Chairman has termed colonialism as the mode of production that we can begin to understand the dialectical relationship that connects all events in the world within the colonial mode of production built on the enslavement and colonial domination of African and oppressed peoples. As Chairman Amalia Shatella has stated, the oppressive conditions faced by Africa, Africans, and the majority of the peoples of the world are globally connected to the experience of affluence and power by the white population that is dependent on a pedestal of colonial domination. African internationalism connects the current political and economic configuration of the world to the colonial enslavement of Africa and African people. It proves that capitalism emerges as a parasitic world economy born at the expense of Africa. Africans and all the world's peoples who are subjected to foreign and alien colonial rule up to this date. The revolution is